what is up my hunting brothers and sisters today it's fall food plot day I'm using the extreme blower cedar so stick tight So I'm out here in one of my little hidey hole type of food plots. This is a, just shy of a quarter of acre food plot. Um, I brought uh, just a little action camera today, so I hope the audio and video is good, but it's too far back to drag all my gear for food plotting and my camera equipment. So I've been running this food plot. I believe this is year number four on this one. Uh, this year I made it even bigger. Last year it was a huge, huge success. Um, this year I expanded out. Now, what I screwed up this year is usually um, what I like to do in a case like this is last week of May, first week of June, I like to plant buckwheat, just broadcast it in. This year, the first week of June, on June 2nd, my wife was involved in a horrific accident at our house. Uh, so the last two months for me have been uh, a healthcare husband, basically. She's doing well. Uh, we got a long road ahead of us. but So that put my food plot stuff on hold. So what I did, was able to do was able to sneak out here a few weeks ago and mow some of the newer areas down that I wanted to get mowed. Uh, nothing really grew in here since last year's food plot, which is good and bad. Um, I came in here two weeks ago and I sprayed what was living in here with Roundup. And, but what I ha don't have is I don't have really much thatch on the stuff that was planted last year. So, my daughters are in 4-H, 4-H is wrapped up, we happen to have some bales of straw left over. So I'm going to come in here when I'm done broadcasting this, I'm going to throw some straw down lightly over top of it and that will serve as my thatch. I don't recommend you going out and buying straw for your food plots, I just happen to have some and it's bailing me out of the situation. And as all you know when it comes to food plots, life always seems to get in the way and so you just deal with the cards you're given and that's what I'm doing this year. So this year in this plot, I'm going back to uh, Grandpa Ray Outdoors. Now, this is his Frosty Delight blend. I've never used this blend before, so I'm excited about it. It's got uh, Winfred Braska's kale, uh, radishes, rutabaga, forage turnip. It's supposed to be really good. I've had great success with his greens and greens, some of his rape products, and other various individual seeds. So I have a lot of hopes in this. Uh, this will do a half an acre. So I'm basically going to put down half of this bag in this area. I've got another plot I'll use the, the other half of the bag for. And to do this, I'm going back to my good old friend, the Extreme Blower Spreader, the XD model. And uh, this is just on a steel leaf blower. These things are awesome. You need to check these things out. These are perfect for these situations where you can't get a tractor, can't get four wheelers back. Right now I have beans all around me. There are no trails getting in and out of here. So getting equipment back to do a food plot like this is impossible without destroying the crop. So this is all carry in. These things are awesome for many settings and overseeding out into say standing corn or whatever. I even use them on some of my plots that I used to do uh, with an actual spreader. I just like this thing, it's very convenient. So I'm gonna use this today and then I'm gonna take my weed eater and go into some of the areas where there's still some thatch. I'm gonna weed eat on top of it, go drag some bales of straw in here and spread that out and in a few weeks we're gonna have an awesome awesome looking food plot so stay tuned let's get to work Okay, that took five minutes maybe. Um, 
people talk about these things like, oh, you can't get a consistent pattern, and that's a bunch of BS. I'll tell you what, on these things, the best thing to do is go with the small, you got an adjustable uh, throat here, go with the smallest size and work your way up and just watch, you can see it spraying, watch your pattern. Go, go lighter than you're supposed to. Make two or three passes and you'll get a really nice uniform throw. I'm telling you, these things are the bomb for stuff like this, man. So now it's time to go and weed eat some of these other areas and then we'll spread some straw. So the key to weed eating this stuff is to weed eat it as close to the ground as possible. We have basically broadcast over on top of this stuff that I've already mowed and killed off. And I want to weed eat as close to the ground as possible and it disturbs that seed, gets it all the way to the dirt, and then all the thatch lays right down on top of it. And then when it rains, holds moisture, and man, you are good to go. So I beat all that stuff down with the weed eater real good, really turned it up, got everything matted that drops that seed down onto the dirt, you get a mat on top, all we need is a little bit of rain and all that'll be good. It took maybe a half an hour, uh, a little bit of sweat. So next is to, I got five bales of straw, I doubt it's enough for all of this, but I can get a good chunk of it with that and uh, cover it up and then I think this food block's going to be really good. Five bales, lug them back here by hand, probably 300, 350 yards. Now it's time to spread them out. So I know I won't have enough, but I'll get most of it. Wow, so there you go. Five bales did cover it really well. Probably could have used one or two more, but really good. Again, this is that quarter acre food plot. I've had a lot of luck over the last couple of years. Really excited about this. Overall, I've been out here a couple hours. Uh, kind of did a little backwards this year because life threw me that curveball, but it's only worth it if you're gonna put in the work and the sweat. As you can see, I'm filthy, I'm sweaty. It's uh, not overly hot today, but this is still a lot of work. So if you want results, you gotta put in the effort and the work, but trust me, come, Late October through November, this is going to be so amazing to hunt over. I got a tree stand up here. I like hunting. I got this box line right in front of me that I put youth in. This is going to be rocking. As always, God bless. Stay safe in this crazy world. Fall is just around the corner. And as always, it's a new day in the outdoors. <laughs>